Hello and welcome everybody to this Fab Espresso. My name is Tavarons and today I'm going to show you how to load the landing zone created in the previous video into sort of a browser or a raw layer, whatever you want to call it, using Microsoft Fabric. Now, um, previously you saw me loading uh, data either straight to one link or making a shortcut way to an existing landing zone. Today I'll be using that existing landing zone, there's a wall table with some JSON files, turning that into a delta table on my bronze lake house. So let me show you how to do that. So over here you can see that I've now created a new lake house uh, called bronze. Uh, a lake house basically also just before I, uh, I start the uh, the actual demo, the lake house also contains basically two things. It's either the lake house, which you can use for um, for your smart things that you want to do, so you can write notebooks against it, but it also has a SQL endpoint, which basically is a full SQL experience you get for that lake house. You can just start querying the tables that you're building in there. Now, uh, how do you create such a lake house? Really easy, just new lake house, name it, that's it. It's just basically building a folder structure that SQL endpoint already exists, so it just basically creates it for you. Now, uh, what I've done is I'm going to load that uh, landing zone data that I had in that shortcut uh, from that landing zone lake house into that bronze lake house into a delta table. Now, how do you do that? Let me show you. So we are going to landing zone bronze, this uh, notebook that I have over here. And the first thing I'm going to do over here is I'm creating a parameter cell to basically parameterize what I'm doing. I'm specifying my landing zone location here. Now that landing zone location is interesting because you don't see any ABFFS uh, endpoint or anything like that. That's because I just this is basically over here, so roles, JSON, and I'll just click over here, copy relative path plus bar. And you can see it just creates this sort of link to it. I don't need to specify ABFSS or any different uh, specifications there because that is already embedded inside that shortcut. Now, once I've done that, I'll specify my table name, how I want to call my table, I'll call it roles, I want to store this in the bronze uh, database. And as you can see here, I, I only see that bronze one. Now I can actually switch to another one by just click on this button over here and just say bronze. You can add more lake house. For example, if you add lake house existing, I have a few more. I could just add them and then I can change the context, like context there for uh, the lake house explorer. But for now, I'm just going to stay at the landing zone. I'm going to use that uh, the JSON part over here. And as you can see here, uh, I've got the load user, stand, uh, database, and the delta table location, I'll fill in because I first want to create it, and then I'm going to fill it in. So what I've done here is basically I've specified that landing zone location and loaded that to a data frame called roles, which you can see over here. Now, um, of course, we don't want to just push that data over from the JSON. So what I did here is I uh, added a load user, load timestamp, and a row hash to basically um, do some sort of incremental loading to do. So you see there's some data in here, it's basically uh, some self-generated data that we created for uh, conferences and bits. Uh, and now, as you, as you saw before, I have initial at one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the existing table and then write it to delta, save it to bronze dot rows. Okay, let's see what happens if I do that. I'm just gonna run for like a few seconds. Also, I'm using the starter pools in um, data engineering in uh, for a notebook. More on that later in the video. Uh, that's running nine ten seconds. That almost done. There we go. If I now go and switch to that bronze layer, you can see over here that I have that table called walls. Cool. Now let's switch back to the landing zone there. here. Let's see what happens if I just go and to a cross reference. I can just select from that data. You can see that that data loads in and it has that, that those extra columns that I specified, that little hash, for example, that I specified for this in here as well. Now, if I want to do an incremental load, let's say uh, I've loaded new data to it and I just want to do a merge statement using part, how can I do that? For the double data location, I need to keep on fetch. So I'll switch over to my other one, the balance one, and I'll go to this specific loads table, copy path. And just fill in my data. I'll change my initial cell to zero. I'll reload my parameter cell. And I'll go all the way down to this one. And now it's actually going to do a merge thing. So it's here. And now actually it's loading 
from the delta k location that I just specified, which is in the bronze state, on that bronze lake house. So now I'm actually merging my landing zone with my bronze data just by using the, the, the path that I'm specifying for it. And that path can be easily fetched from the right here. And then just let this specific go. So that basically shows you how to start building your own structure like you're used to in creating lake house or loading landings onto bronze, doing that in an incremental way. Now this basically shows you very quickly how you can build your incremental load or your initial load from that landing zone into that bronze lake house or wild lake house, whatever naming convention you need to use, and easily load that data across. You can use a notebook for this and you can basically tap into that existing data in the lake house uh, in the landing zone that we showed you before. Now, if you have any questions about this video, I'm very curious to hear about them. So write them in the comments. Um, if you uh, want to see more of these videos, just subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, just give us a thumbs up. Um, as always, from the Cybersuite team, thank you for watching. This is Stan. Bye-bye.